Hey guys, it's your girl Ro, and welcome back to another Uncensored East cooking video tutorial. Today I'm making cassava dumplings. Cassava dumplings are one of my favorite things to eat, especially when I'm making steamed fish or ackee and salt fish or salt fish and kalalu, salt fish and okra. You don't know how the thing is, you know? All carbon cooking and things going on. So a couple years ago, I wanted to make dumplings, but I didn't want the dumplings that we're all used to. First of all, I don't like caramel dumplings. My mom used to make that a lot when we were kids and I completely hated it. I don't like wheat dumplings for the, uh, for the same reasons. I don't like all flour dumplings for the exact same reasons. So a couple years ago, I wanted to make dumplings and my grandmother taught me how to make cassava dumplings. And this is cassava. I'm not sure what other Caribbean countries call it, but I know some other countries call it yuca, but for Jamaicans, it's cassava. So I'm just going to start by peeling the skin. And you can peel the skin with a knife or you can peel it with a veggie peeler. A veggie peeler is a lot easier. So we're going to peel this and we'll be right back guys. So now that our cassava is all peeled and clean, we are ready to move into making our cassava dumplings. But before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. You're going to need a peeled cassava, some flour, salt, a grater, and a little bit of water. You won't necessarily need the water, but just in case you do need it, you can just add a little. Usually when I make cassava dumplings, I don't need the water. But um, I'll just put it just in case I do need it. So we're just going to take our cassava and we're going to grate it in this bowl right here. So you want to grate the whole thing. I like to use the very, very fine side of the grater. Only because it kind of purees the cassava, which releases a bit of moisture. Which is why I said you won't need the water. I'll have this recipe in the description box down below, so please don't forget to check that out. So we're just gonna grate and grate and then we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, and we're back and we're done grating or cassava. As you can see, it's like fine. And if you squeeze it, it comes together. That's because of the moisture in the cassava or the yuca. This is the reason why I said you may not need the water for your dumplings. So we're just going to add our flour into our bigger bowl right here. We're going to add a pinch of salt. And we're going to add our cassava little by little. And we're just going to work it into the dough. And you want it to form... and let it be a little mealy, like cornmeal. For this one, I may need the water, only because I used a much smaller cassava or yuca, and um, it won't be enough to form it without the water. So I'm just gonna add a little water in here, and I'm going to bring it all together. There's nothing wrong if you add water, if you don't, it's just sometimes having more cassava, you won't need the water. Oh, I'm just going to add a little bit more, a little bit more of my cassava. I like to work my cassava in little by little versus working it in all at once. Ah, look at this, it's starting to come together already. Oh, 
little bit more. There you go, this is perfect. You want your dough to be a little tacky and a little moist. You don't want it to be completely dry. And I'm just going to finish the dumpling with the rest of the cassava. And we're just gonna work her dough. So I'm just gonna take my dough out of the bowl and I'm going to work on my table. So you want to fold in and knead, fold in and knead, fold in and knead, turn, fold in and knead, fold in and knead, and turn. And we're going to do that for five minutes. Any remaining of the dough, you want to take it off and work it into your dough. You want to be sure you have every tacky part of your dough incorporated into the dough. So any tackiness from your hand or in the bowl, you want to remove that and just incorporate it in here. So it's been five minutes and this is what my dough looks like. Yep, ready. So we're just gonna let this rest for about five minutes and we're gonna come back to it and we're just gonna start making our dumplings. All right guys, it's been about five minutes and we're going to take some of our dough and we're going to make little size golf balls. I like my dumplings when they're small. I don't like big dumplings. Take a little off of this one and a little off of this one. All right guys, now that our balls are formed, we are going to Flatten it a bit. Like I said, I like little dumplings. I don't like big dumplings. It really turns me off. So we're just going to form the dumpling into small little discs. We're going to roll, flatten, and form. So this is our dumpling. Yep. And I'm going to place them in here and we're going to move on over to my stove side. All right guys, so in here you're going to need some salt, boiling water, and we're going to start adding our dumplings. I'm going to add a little oil, that way my dumplings don't stick to the bottom of the pan or they don't stick into each other. And I'm going to use a spatula to kind of stir it up a bit so they don't stick. And this is going to come to another boil that is going to cook for about 15 minutes or until the dumplings float to the top of the surface <laughs> and once that's done guys we'll be right back oh my god guys my dumplings are done 
Look at that. Ooh, that looks so good. And I am ready to dig into these. These are going to be accompanied by my Jamaican style steamed red snapper. I'll put the link in the description box down below to know how to make that. So please do not forget to check that out. But this is where it ends for me, guys. Again, it's your girl Ro from Uncensored Eats. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Thank you for always being here. Thank you for being everything. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.